Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tax Agenda. And in this video, we will customize the H2I build. So what we are going to do, we will be given a assemble a script and we will do some modification, some customization of our H2I build in the assemble build. So let me go to our problem area. Okay, so we are going to customizing the H2I build. Uh, Git URL is given, Git branch is given, the project directory is also given, okay. Then we have to customize our build. So we have to go to the assemble uh, script and we will do some modifications, okay. We will copy all the source star HTML file, okay. From one directory to another directory, we have to create a, a file, uh, info.html and the content of the file should be like that uh, this build has happened on this date, right? So date format is very much important here. So we have to give the, uh, give the date in this format. And then project name is given, app name is given, and the base image is also given. So let me move forward to our cluster environment. So I am already logged in in the cluster. Okay, if I give command OST, who am I? So I am already uh, logged in cluster as the developer user. So first thing is that uh, the Git URL is given, okay? So what we have to do first, we have to clone the repository. And then uh, after cloning the repository, uh, we should check out to the brown source build and uh, we should move uh, to the H2I script uh, project directory, right? So uh, let me go inside the H2I page. So I have already cloned the repository. I am already um, uh, checked out the branch as well. Okay, if I give uh, git branch, right? So I am already in the source build um, uh, branch, right? So everything is good here. Now we have to modify the assemble uh, script here, right? So if I give ls command here, so you can see the index.html file is there only, right? So how we can reach out to the assemble. So this is inside the .h2i uh, directory, which is the hidden directory. For it to see it, we have to give command ls hyphen a, then it will show us the hidden directory as well, .h2i, right? So we have to give inside the, go inside this h2i directory and inside uh, this we have are having the bin directory and inside bin we are having run and uh, assemble uh, scripts okay so let's we go into the h2i and then bin and if i give ls here you can see two scripts there assemble scripts and run scripts so modify uh, the h2i builds we have to modify uh, the assemble right if need any custom more customization we have to modify the assemble script so let me open it in uh, Vim. And uh, okay, so here, right? So uh, we can see the customization start here. So I can, uh, we can add our customization here, right? So if we check the instruction, first thing is that to copy all these files from this directory to this directory. Once we will do this, because temp is the default directory for the H2I build concept, right? So whatever they're in the temp directory, right? And then uh, this thing should be copied into the image container, okay? So what, how we are going to do? We will give command CP, sorry. Uh, first go into the insert mode and then we are, we need to copy uh, and let uh, do it the recursive and also the forcefully, okay? And uh, from uh, temp shows, so TMP, HRC, and we have to copy all only uh, star.html file, right? So we will go specific here, HTML, and we have to copy it into the, this directory, okay? So that step we have done here. Now the next step is create the info.html file with the following content, right? And here it catches uh, the date format should be in this format, right? So what we will going to do here, let me create a um, uh, variable here, the date variable, okay? Uh, date and let assign it with the value, okay, uh, date, and then let us specify the format here, right? So it should start with the MMM, right? So for it, we have to give percentage B, 
and after it, uh, it should be the date, right? So uh, the percentage D is for date. And then there is a comma. And after it, percent uh, capital Y, right? So in this format, uh, we have to give, okay? And let close it. Okay, so this is the date format we have just specified. Now, uh, the other thing is uh, build on this date, right? So uh, what, how we can do it? Let me use the echo command here. Echo and uh, then page build on and then print our date here. And after it, let me move it into the info.html file. Okay. Uh, the location of info.html file should be it, right? Because it will be the part of our code, okay? And once we will build that application, then uh, we can also check that info.html file as well. So we have done with these changes. Okay, let's go ahead and Save and close. Once this is done, right? So we have to uh, um, uh, push back this code into the uh, Git again, so that once we will uh, uh, create the new app, right? So everything will be fetched out from the Git, right? Like all the latest code, all our changes should be fetched out from there, right? So for it, I'm coming back to my project directory. And if now if I give the Git status command, it is saying that this assemble file has been changed. So let me add it. Get add. And let me commit also. Give it. FNM. Modify. Modify. Assemble. OK. So. Um, so. Okay, so it's done. Now let me push the code back into the Git. For it, we need to give Git push. My username is I have to provide the token as well. So it is my get token. Okay, so changes has been done and has been pushed back into the get. Okay, now let me go ahead. Next thing we have to do, we have to give in the project name, we have to give in the app name and the base image as well. So we have to create the application now. So let me first create the project with the OC new project command. Project name should be greet. So we are now inside the greet project. Now we create the application. So to create the application, we have to use OC new app command. And then the name of our application should be great. Okay. And uh, now uh, the base image is given, right? So let me copy it. So uh, our base image is given. Then we have to use the tilde. Okay. And our get URL we have to give. And after it, we have to give the uh, branch with the has of, after has, we will give our branch and then the project directory, which will come with the context uh, dire identifier, okay? 
So contact tire is S to I script. Fine. Okay. So here one more point here. Uh, if we will not find this HTTP uh, PD image as per our H2I, uh, as to our uh, in our image stream, then we have to add this parent image also. Okay. So I have created a video separately how to add the private uh, registry into our namespace. Okay. If we will not find that re uh, this image parent image, then we have to uh, add add it okay so um, uh, privately right we have to create the secret and need to add this uh, associate this secret into the default service account so i have created a separate video for it you can go and check it so as of now it's created let me check with the oc get all command Right, so our build is working, and if we see the log, Right, so everything is successful now. Right, so our build is completed and, uh, 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 and application is running, right? So now we check our application and the info.html page, whether everything is fine or not. So let we expose the uh, service, we'll see. Expose service and service name is greatly. Sorry, let me see. OC get all. Okay. Okay, so application name is also great. Okay. So, um, OC expose service great. Now it has been exposed. OC, let me clear first. OC get route. Okay, so this is the route. And let I copy it. And we'll use the CURL to check whether our application is running good or not for it. CURL and the right. So you can see hello all, welcome from Tech Agenda. So this is the content of our index.html file. Now we check whether uh, our info.html uh, um, correctly, uh, if we can see the content of info.html file correctly or not for it, slash info dot html, right? So page build on and uh, the date format is also coming in great shape. Okay, so that's all for this video. Hope you will like it. Thank you.